Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Uh, let's have another episode of whose trailer is it anyway? Uh, it's my trailer, and, and, and I wish I could say this was someone else, but it was absolutely all me. Someone borrowed the trailer from me, came back without a plug. Uh, uh, someone else wanted to borrow it, or I had to use it, can't remember, and uh, I had to fix it. So, so the first time it came back, actually this cable was too short to get back onto anyway. So I had to fill in this piece of cable, and this thing is as hard as hell. An absolute, absolute shit show. But nonetheless, it worked for some while, but I think there's some green death in here. So the idea being is we can either take out this whole piece of cable, rewire the whole trailer, or, and I don't know if this is going to be a long-term shitty idea, but maybe mount this female plug here and create a little pigtail like they do on the uh, semi-trucks. So um, there's enough slack in here. The, well, the third alternative is to do another joint and that we all know that's just going to go to shit somewhere along the line. Um, so let's try this. Uh, the idea being that is if we're out on the farm or in the sticks or somewhere, we can use this trailer off-road without the pigtail and maybe save the cable for some foreseeable future time. So uh, let's get back into the shop, let's do the little pigtail and uh, if, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow when there's a bit more light and start working on this thing. Okay gents, uh, sorry for being away for two months. Uh, in the meantime my son was born, I started this video filming and then my son was born so it was an absolute let's call it getting into a new rhythm but here we are again i'm back uh what we'll be doing is we'll be wiring according to since 1327 of 1981 i've made a little printout of it uh you can pause the video here or i'll put something on the screen that's a bit more uh, easier to read but that's what we'll be using so uh first of all i've broken it down into the three sections which is for the trailer side, for the vehicle side, and then the alternative for which is actually a five wire uh, wiring system. A lot of the old trailers that hasn't got a lot of fancy stuff, you will be reverting back to this one. So uh, first of all, we'll use the top one. This is, you'll see here, it says uh, terminal seen from the inside looking along the cable towards the male plug. So what we'll have is, you'll in essence be looking along the cable towards the plug something like that now if you're rewiring your trailer make sure that you check this out uh, and get the right side of the cable because the on the one end if you if you do it the one end wise uh, the cable is actually manufactured in the right order as you can see here uh, now i'm looking in the wrong direction but you can see the black in the middle, I've got it there, and I'm going to go counterclockwise versus clockwise on this side. Yellow, blue, white, green, brown, red. Yellow, blue, white, green, brown, red. So, going this way around, we will be going the right direction into the, into the uh, plug, and you won't have to fiddle around uh, on getting it into the plug. The other end, however, if we put another plug on here, well, well once we put another plug on here, that's going to be a shit show, so I'll, 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 I'll show you on that. So, uh, just in terms of cable, if you need a little short piece of cable like this, if you're not rewiring your old trailer, go to your cable supplier. Normally they've got um, end of roll ends. This one was 2 meters, I cut 1.2 off because this is what I needed. But you can normally get the uh, end of roll little sections for, for quite cheap. Uh, if you need some weird cabling to, let's say for instance for the kids projects at school and stuff, also, go and ask the guys if they've got some end of roll stuff, then if they're not cutting too length, uh, you don't have to buy a whole roll or whatever the case may be. So, this is 1.2 meters, so let's get right into it. Tools required. Little Stanley knife. Flat screwdriver, uh, star, Phillips screwdriver, star, flat screwdriver, pliers, and a uh, side cutter. These pliers is the old, uh, I don't know if you can see there, let's see there. Crescent brand, this is an old one still, made in the US of A. Uh, unfortunately, they're not made in the US anymore. Um, absolute, absolute. You, you, I venture to say you won't get a better, piece of, uh, better pair of um, linesman pliers than this. As you can see, the uh, tip of the pair of pliers does not bite 
hard up against each other. So that means your side cutter will always be working. You can't pinch small stuff on it, but uh, this is the absolute best you can get in my opinion. Uh, I've had this for probably about 20 years and uh, still going strong. So um, this is my crescent side cutter. Come on, focus. There we go. Unfortunately, this one is not made in the US. So I'm not too sure about the, um, the quality. I guess time will tell. It's not that old. So uh, first of all, strip off the outer sheath and then some of the insulation on all the, uh, on all the terminals. I think what happened here is, uh, if you have a look at the at the plug, uh, I'm not sure. I think we've taken off too much. So always check that you at least have the um, outer edge through the strain relief. You don't want to pinch the cable into the strain strain relief like that. If that happens, you just get the whole thing stretching out. So I think I'm going to cut it a bit shorter. Well, first of all, take some of the uh, some more of the insulation off. And once we've got that done, we can just wind them up, and then when we fold them back, that they f so that they fit into the uh, little terminal there. So that's about what we've had too much on. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna cut everything off somewhere there about. There we go. Now the center one, the black one, uh, you wanna strip off a little bit more as uh, otherwise it's going to fold up on you. And there we go. Now we've got all our wires ready and twisted up and folded back. So now we're going to use the uh, little connector. Now, if you look carefully, they are marked. Um, same order, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven in the middle. So uh, you, okay, there we go. I don't know if you guys are gonna see there, be able to see the focus. There's one, two, three, four, and so on. So uh, first of all, we'll start in the, uh, in the middle with a left tail light, which is the black one from our little diagram. And thereabouts, I almost made the mistake that I always do. The uh, little plastic uh, rubber dust cap, uh, what I'm gonna do is, Luckily, I've got a short piece of cable, so I'm just going to put it on from the other side. Pull it over. Guys, make sure that you remember this. That I can't tell you how many times it has happened to me that I had to uh, take it off and redo it again. But nonetheless, there we go. So first of all, I'm going to do the uh, terminal number seven, the center one, which is the left tail light. There we go. And make sure that it's tight. And now we can start with yellow on number one. Here we go. And just follow the little diagram. 
I'm gonna speed this up. I don't want. I don't think you guys want to really want to see me uh, putting screws in. And there we go. Uh, as you can see, because we used the uh, right edge of the, well, the right end of the cable. Uh, they fit perfectly without any bending and weird stuff. So uh, what we can do now is we can carry on and uh, put the plug on. Now you'll see different plugs have got different ways. Some of them are, are, have got a little lip here on the edge. This one is sitting there in the middle, so depending on the plug. So uh, just make sure you get it fitted in there. Then we can put the strain relief on. put the plug together. I'm missing a screw now. There we go. Here we go. And now just slide the uh, dust cap on. Gentlemen, and there we have our plug fitted. Now, uh, normally most of you, um, this is what you want to see, just putting a new plug on your trailer. It's quite easy. Anyone can do it. Uh, just keep this in mind, make sure that you do not change the wiring on your car because then it becomes a fault finding issue, a, well, a tracing issue and that becomes a massive, massive ball leak. Um, I'm going to do the other end of the plug off camera and I'll quickly show you when we're done. And there we go. Uh, now as you can see this one is an absolute mess. Uh, just because we didn't uh, use the right end of the cable. so. Uh, Let's get this thing put together. As you can see, it's two different plugs. So this one's got a little lip that actually fits in there and not in there, like the previous one. But nonetheless, they all work the same. Do the same job. Uh, what I did was I actually wired both these plugs exactly the same on this side, just to make it um, interchangeable so that once I use it on the, my trailer, it will... Uh, it doesn't matter which side goes where. Um, but that will be in the second episode where we work on the trailer because that's going to be a bit different. Uh, it's not going to be the vehicle side type of thing. So, But I'll get you in there. Let me quickly put this thing together. And I bet you guys thought I forgot the uh, dust cap. But for once I did not. So there we go. And there we go, there's our little pigtail that we're going to use in our trailer. That will, the trailer end we'll do in a separate episode. I think this one is getting a bit long winter. Uh, and this is mostly what you will be doing. If you want to follow the build, check out the second build, uh, the second episode. And uh, I'll show you once we're done. So if you've made it thus far, thanks for watching. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, stay safe.